Hi guys, it's your girl Rhea here and welcome back to my channel. Finally, 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 I have time to really film and edit and upload a video because I know it has been a long time, but I will talk about that in another video. For this video, if you can't already tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you how I achieve a look that lasts all day, including when I sweat and everything. So if you want to learn how that happens, then keep on watching. So the first thing that I do that everybody should do is moisturize my skin. I like to use my tea tree oil face serum, especially because I have normal to dry skin. I'm going to go in with two foundations. I'm the first one I'm the first one I'm going to use is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the color I think this is mocha. I'm just going to start applying this foundation to the center of my face and blend it outward. On top of this foundation, I'm going to put my favorite so far foundation, which is this just Becca. like the Maybelline foundation. I'm going to focus this. I'm going to put most of it towards the center. So the next thing I'm going to do is conceal my T-zone and under eye area with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Deep. Now that I have that on and blended out, I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. It's banana powder, by the way. And before everything creases, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything that I literally just concealed. So now that I have all of that done, I'm gonna move on to, to bronzing. And for my bronzer, I'm gonna use my Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the color Black Coffee. Pretty much, I'm gonna bronze it all around my face in normal areas. The reason I do this, um, Sometimes I do contour, as you will see in past videos, I do use like a Sephora concealer, it's the darkest shade, and I use that around my face. However, I noticed that with this look, um, especially for me in the winter months or like the cooler months of fall to winter months, um, my skin is kind of trying to... I'm gonna set my entire face using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the color Medium Deep. Are probably not meshing well. This makes sure that they do, basically. I don't know, it's just what I do. I've always done it this way and in this order, and it's always worked out for me. I'm gonna take my MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray and go ahead and spray my face. I have primed and set my eyelids with my Tarte Concealer and my Laura Murmur. I'm going into my Morphe 3502 palette and I'm grabbing this warm shade here and put it into my crease. I'm going to go into the shade directly under that, so the very last row, three from the right, if you're looking at the palette. 
and I'm going to take that also in my crease but lower than that first shade. A flat brush of any kind going to that same palette. Now we're going to the left side of the palette, third row looking at it, it's going to be the second one in, taking that shimmery shade and that is going to be my lit shade. My Essence I Love Extreme Volume Mascara. I'm going to go into this palette. Honestly, I just use this for the blush. I don't really care which one. I usually swipe both because one is really pink and one is really red. And I don't really care for blush like that. I dot, I dot the apples of my cheeks. Then I kind of blend it backwards. Now I'm going to go into my Sephora Illuminizing Palette and my favorite is this gold right here. Surprised I haven't hit pan yet but I definitely see a dent in that. And I'm using my Morphe M510 brush that I specifically bought for this purpose. This I would have to say is my go-to highlighter but trust me ooh, I own some highlighters that you don't play with honey so now I'm gonna take my Sephora lipstick it's a cream lip stain rather in the color 26 it doesn't actually have a name up oh, doesn't have a name actually and yes I put this on top of the Carmex because this is a matte lipstick. Hmm. Once again. And there you have it everyone. This is the look I wore a few days ago and it literally lasted me all day. Mainly it's because, you know, I set the whole thing with lots of powder and like I sweat and like did my makeup didn't rub off. I could rub my face and my makeup didn't rub off. Trust me, this actually worked for me. So I want you to give it a try. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.